Hello everyone, today I'm going to introduce the sort of delay and shallow delay functions on RCAX. And to better show the function, I reset RCAX first. The current model is model 1. Model select. Model 1. And reset. Are you sure to reset model 1? Confirm. So model 1 is reset. And let's check the current firmware. System menu information, and we can see the current firmware is version 1.2.5. And then let's check channel delay function. Basic menu channel delay. RCAX has eight channels. Channel delay is to set delay for all the eight channels, and the delay of each channel can be set independently. The default value is null, which means there is no delay for all channels. And you can set a delay time according to your needs. The current version 1.2.5 firmware supports at most 10 seconds delay. The future firmware of RCAX will support longer delay time, such as 40, 50 seconds. And for example, I set a delay of channel 2. Throw the channel to 4 seconds. That is to see it will take 4 seconds to go from the left side to the right side and for throttle channel, the forward will take 2 seconds and the reverse will also take 2 seconds. You can also set a delay for other channels according to your needs and then let's check throttle delay function. Recent menu, throttle delay. Before the introduction of throttle delay, we need to know that 1. Channel delay is to set the delay for the whole channel, while throttle delay is only to set the delay for throttle. So if you want delay for backward, reverse, you need to set channel delay. And if you only want delay for forward, throttle, you can set throttle delay. 2. Please also pay attention that when the throttle delay is turned on, a channel delay function will be disabled. And there are three modes for throttle delay. All point, high low point, and three point. For all point, a delay is set over the entire throttle range, and now means no throttle delay. You can see it here. And if I set a delay for turn, such as 6 seconds. That is to say it will take 6 seconds to go from 0 to full throttle. In the current version 1.2.5 firmware supports at most 10 seconds delay. In the future firmware of RCAX will support longer delay time. Here you can check the server display, push the throttle. And there is delay for the turn. And return is to set a delay when you let go of the throttle trigger. Now I let go of the throttle trigger. You can see there is no delay. And I set a delay for return such as 5 seconds. That is to see there is delay when you let go of the trigger. I'll show you it. And now when I let go of the trigger, there is delay for the return. And then let's check high-low point mode. For high-low point, the whole throat travel is divided into two parts, which means you can set different delay for the front part and the back part of the throat travel. And no means the front part of the throttle, while high means the back part. You can distinguish high or low part uh, from the colors. As you can see, the low part is in green color and the high part is in red color. And the point here is the cut off point of the travel, which defaults to uh, 30. And I can set it to 50. Okay, from the current values, we can say that there is no delay for the low part. But there is delay for the high part, the second part, and the settings for the return are the same. And let's check the server display. Okay, push the trigger. 
You can say throttle goes very fast in a low part, but goes very slow in a high part, and let go of the trigger. You can say it returns slowly in a high part, but no delay in a low part. So that is to say you can set different delay for these two parts of the throttle travel. And for three points, it is similar to high no point. The whole throttle travel is divided into three parts. And you can see green, yellow, and red parts. You can set the delay for the three parts individually according to your needs. For example, we set the point to 25. And we set the delay for the low part to 10 seconds. And also the same settings for the return. And I push the auto trigger. Because it goes very slowly in the low part. And there will be no delay in the middle part. And then it will also goes very slow in the high part. One let go of the trigger. The settings are the same. And the actions of the throttle is the same as the turn. So you can set the suitable throttle delay mode according to your needs. And that's all about the throttle delay and channel delay of RCEX.